Hey, Last Boy Scouts. We're here at Balch Park up above Springville, California with some of the largest trees in the world. And today we're going to show you how to utilize your bushcraft tools to do some batoning and a very special safe way to cut wood utilizing the plumber's vise. Just stick around. It'll be a good one. So one of the little techniques that we want to uh, demonstrate for you guys and, and show you is um, we're going to be batoning this log here. But first what we're going to do is we want to do it in order to generate a notch. So if you are building something, um, some sort of structure um, for a shelter, I want to show you how to be able to notch this out properly. So utilizing our saw. I'm going to pick a space about two inches down. I'm going to saw about halfway through. So we're about halfway through there. We're going to take our knife. And we're going to follow that line up right about here. And using our baton. We're going to notch that out. Now you can see it's a pretty clean, it's a pretty clean notch. We can clean it up some there's a little bit there that can be cut away but we have a nice flat surface right so if we were to have another log what we do that to we can stack the two right on top of each other and then wrap right we can wrap those and tie them together that can be the corner of a structure um, a base um, uh, like a, a if we're making an a-frame we can utilize that that's just one basic way to do it pretty simple I cut halfway through and then we're batoning down that line. Now, I'm going to turn this over. And when we talk to talk about batoning also, we talk about batoning for splitting wood for fire purposes. So we're going to utilize our baton again. And we're going to use that knife as though it's a wood splitter. All right, so we've split that down. Continue to split our wood down so that we have smaller pieces of kindling for our fire if we're going to build a fire. Um, you can utilize uh, other things you can use. If you have a small hatchet, you can utilize that in order to use that to hammer on the back of your knife. I wouldn't suggest it only because that does, that will create a lot of damage to that. Uh, if you can find just a regular little small stick, a log that's fairly heavy duty, um, you can use that. Uh, the heavier blades, uh, like I use, utilize the Topps uh, Brothers of Bushcraft. It has a heavier spine on it and it's, it really is developed and it was designed in order to be able to baton wood like that. And because it's the 1095 steel, it will uh, it'll hold that edge for quite a while. So that's just a basic 
uh, tutorial on how to baton wood if you're going to break it down for fire purposes or if you're going to utilize uh, the notching method in order to build a structure. All right, so another method to safely saw your wood for batoning, pre-batoning, or just preparing your firewood for structures uh, or whatever is uh, to utilize the plumber's vise. The plumber's vise can be achieved simply by wedging the piece of wood or log that you plan on cutting in between your upper leg and lower leg, crunching it in your calf, and then you can further rest it back on this other leg by putting pressure down. So basically you're creating a vise, you're creating a stable table with which to cut your wood. So basically to demonstrate it, take my handy dandy uh, Gerber saw, and just Applying downward pressure, let the teeth do the work. I'm not going to cut it all the way through, but you can see it's working and you're being extremely safe about how you're cutting as not to harm yourself or others in the process. So, uh, once again, um, we've enjoyed coming out and showing you guys a few uh, basic skills, um, utilizing your bushcrafting tools, a hatchet and a knife, how to baton wood in order to uh, maybe create a, a base or a frame for something by notching it out and then utilizing it also just for splitting wood uh, for a fire. Um, pretty basic skills. We hope you guys learned something from it, take a little bit away from it. That's our our goal here uh, with Last Boy Scouts is to pass on that knowledge and to uh, enrich what you guys are doing and add something to your tool belt. So from Balch Park, I want to say thanks for stopping by and watching us again. Scotty? Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Knowledge, knowledge is your weapon. Be prepared. Have a good day.